Hi, this is Gary D. Tylencourt from morethanasnapshot.com. In this video, we're going to learn how to work with video files in Lightroom 5. So one of the first things you'll want to do is check out your video by scrubbing through it to see if there's anything you'd want to cut out. So here, um, I have my daughter entering the frame. So in this case, if I just want it to be about the water, I will trim this video. So uh, all you have to do is click this little wheel and it brings up these uh, little side panels and you have to find the point where you want to trim the video and then you just slide this end point to there and then you can start over and see if you have the right amount of video. And that's good. It's what I wanted. It doesn't have any other uh, distractions entering the frame. It's just the uh, waterfall coming down itself. All right. So next, you might want to work on fixing the video itself, maybe things like exposure. Now, Lightroom uh, does not really allow you to do that in the develop module, but it does allow you to make some adjustments in the library module. To the right side on the library module, we have some of these little um, buttons that we can work with. And so uh, I'm going to see if I can close this for a second. And we have right here, it says increase exposure by a third of a stop or decrease it by a third of a stop. Or we have the larger button where we can increase it by one full stop. So you can see here, if I go up by one full stop, that makes it uh, very bright. Um, so maybe I didn't need to go quite that bright. It's probably clipping a little bit of highlights. So now I might use the decrease by a third of a stop a couple times. And all right, that probably looks good. Um, you can also affect contrast and the white point and the black point. So I'll give it a little black point, and well, maybe it does need to be a little bit brighter overall. And uh, you can affect the saturation, and it applies this throughout the whole video. So these are some very basic adjustments you can make here, and we can see. And that's the effect that they had. Another thing you can do in the library module is use a preset that you've previously made in the develop module and apply that to your video. So in this case, if I come over to where it says saved preset, I can look through some of the presets that I've already made and I'll find a toned black and white preset and I'll choose that one. And here it'll tell me what settings from that preset it will apply to video and that means there probably are a few settings in that preset that it won't apply but that's okay if it gives me the basic effect that I'm looking for if I click OK it applies that preset and now it'll show up throughout the whole video alright we're gonna look at one more way in which you can edit a video in Lightroom 5 first we'll come over to where the video settings are and we'll click this uh, little drop down and we'll choose capture frame what that will do is it'll make a JPEG image from this picture on the video and here is the JPEG it just comes right up on the side of it now we can go to the develop module and edit this JPEG just like we would any other picture so now we're in the develop module we can see our histogram and we can see all of our tools are available so um, one of the first things I would do is probably add uh, a little bit of exposure to brighten that up. And uh, maybe tweak the white balance a little bit. I'll see what auto will do. All right, and so that's looking a little bit better. And um, maybe give it a little bit of contrast. Okay, and maybe a little bit of clarity. Just a little bit. All right, so now that we've made uh, some adjustments to our picture, there are two ways that we could apply it to our video. Uh, the first way is by using the sync function. So we've got to make sure that we have first clicked on our JPEG. And then if you hold down Control or Option on the Mac, 
uh, you can highlight the second video, the video clip, and we're telling it to sync the settings from the JPEG onto the video. And so if I hit sync, it'll show me which of the options that I've adjusted are available to put on the video and which ones are not available. Now we didn't use all the options anyway, so as long as we have the main um, exposure, contrast, all those kinds of things, that's what we mainly worked with. So if I hit sync, it should apply that to the video. So we'll give that a second. And I can see that it just updated on the thumbnail. The other way you could have done it is after making the adjustments to the JPEG, you could come over here to the presets and you could create a preset call it whatever you want and then when you're in the library module you could apply that preset to the video and so that would be good anytime you want to use this effect more than once alright so now let's um, click over to our video and um, we'll see if there's a difference yes we can see that it's much brighter and lighter and um, it made a big difference. Once you've completed your video, you need to export it so you have a finished copy. So you go to File, Export, and you have to run through these settings to make sure that they're right for video. Choose a default folder later. I like to use that one because it's good for presets. I can choose whatever folder I want um, whenever I export my file. So that means I don't usually have to worry about the rest of this. Uh, if I want to rename the file, I can click this and give it a new name. In this case, it's going to be this file name, and I'm fine with that. I don't... Um, well, actually, since we added a color tone to it, I think that... Um, we'll give it a custom name, and uh, we'll call it cold tone. Uh, so we'll give it a, a new name and here under the video options this is what's important. Uh, we want to include the video files, we want it to be the same format which was H.264, I want the maximum quality. Here it will tell me what size the video will be and what, how many frames per second. Um, if I needed to make a change, there are a few other options, but since that's the file type that the video already is, we might as well leave it in that file type. If I wanted it to have a lower quality to save a little space, here is where I could do that. And um, a lot of these other settings won't matter since it's a video, and I do want it to show me the result in Explorer when it's done. So after going through all those settings, if I um, think I could use those settings again, I could click add and create a, a preset called video and that way I don't have to go through those steps again it'll already be there and you can see here I have a video preset already made so then I click export and it's gonna ask me where do you want to export that video so I'm gonna go to my computer into the videos folder and uh, I will create a new folder and I'll call it uh, Megan Cold Tone and so my video will go into that folder and I'll select it and now you'll see Lightroom will export that video it'll take a few minutes so I'll come back alright here we have the finished video and if I play it in Windows Explorer this is the result and there you have it that's how you export a video from Lightroom 5 if you like this video, please be sure to hit subscribe down at the bottom so you can see our future videos. Also, you might want to check out the show notes to see uh, my other websites like morethanasnapshot.com where you can take my online photography class. Also, like us on Facebook so you'll know what's new with morethanasnapshot.com.